The carburetor brings fuel and air together in the perfect ratio for combustion. The carburetor has many tiny passages that route fuel through it. If dirt or corrosion plugs these passages, the engine will run poorly or not start at all. A carburetor can be cleaned and rebuilt, but often it is cheaper or faster to just simply replace it. Replacing your engine's carburetor is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll begin by removing the pre-filter cover from the saw. Now I can remove the top motor cover. Now I have access to the air filter and I can go ahead and remove it. Now I'll remove the upper grip from the handle. and the two screws that secure the air filter base. With the screws removed, now I can go ahead and remove the base. Now I can remove the carburetor. The first thing I want to do is clamp off the fuel line so it doesn't leak fuel. Now I'll remove the throttle linkage. I just simply pull it back and push it down away from the throttle lever. There's a series of fuel lines I'll now remove from the carburetor. and I'll remove the choke linkage. Here I have the new carburetor. First, I'll transfer the throttle linkage over to the new carb. And now I can reinstall it in pretty much the reverse order. I'll install the choke linkage. The return fuel line. Now the incoming fuel line and the vent line. I can remove the fuel line clamp. Now reinstall the throttle linkage and now the air filter base. There's a number of connections on the air filter base you'll need to make sure are aligned during reassembly. With the base back in place, now I can secure it with the screws. Now I can replace the top handle grip. You'll notice there's a couple of tabs that stick out of these posts on the back. Those tabs need to slide down into these grooves. And then I secure it with the screw. Now I can reinstall the air filter. First I'll place the mesh backing onto the back of the filter. And now this assembly goes into the air filter base. 
Make sure that the filter is sealed all the way around. Now reinstall the motor cover by sliding it into place and securing it with the screws. And reinstall the cover onto the saw. And now you know how to install a new carburetor in your cutoff saw.